Hi guys, so in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the use state react hook and we're going to be wiring this up to an input field. So um, as many of you know, will know, hooks was introduced in react version 16.8 and it allows the use of many of the features of a class component such as state and lifecycle methods but in function components. So here we've got some code and which I've created using mpx create react app and we're in the app.js file and I've just removed most of the boilerplate code um, in app and I've created this input component. So first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna pull off the use state hook from the React package and we're gonna call it within our app component. Now we're going to pass in the empty string as the um, argument and that will be our initial state. And every time you call use state, um, what gets returned is an array and the array has two items in it. Um, the first one is always going to be the current state and the second one is going to be a method for setting the state. So rather than calling array dot something, we're going to destructure those items so we can access them directly. So let's call our state name and we're going to call our um, method for setting this for setting the state we're going to call it set name. Now first thing we're going to do is we're going to display the name within our paragraph here. And then we're going to create a method for handling the change of the input. So we're going to basically get the value of the input of the event target object. So we're going to pass this method into the handle change prop of the input component. So now what we'll see is if we type something, you'll see it displayed on top. So that's all well and good, but what if you have multiple inputs? So one of the things about use is you can call it multiple times within the component. So you can call it as many times as you want. So let's create another input called weight. And let's create another call use state again. And do the same as before. Now we save that, it's re-rendered here. So name, pull, weight, 76 kilograms. So that's all That's all good, all works fine, but there's a lot of duplication. Um, so if we have the massive form with lots of different input fields, we're gonna be calling this again and again. So what we can try and do is, rather than calling use state many times, let's just call it once, but instead of passing um, an empty string as the value, let's pass an object which we can expand so we can have multiple different values. So let's get rid of this. Let's call this the form object. And then let's call this set form value. And we're gonna pass in an object with name, initial value, empty string, weight, initial value of empty string. And here we're going to get called set form value. And this will be form.name and form.weight. Just get rid of this. 
So this isn't going to work as it is because um, we need to know, because we've got a generic um, method for handling change, we need to know which input is coming from. So you can see in this input component, I'm passing in an ID of name, ID of weight. And what that gets translated to is um, on the input field itself, um, the ID, if an explicit name um, attribute is not passed in, the ID becomes the name attribute. So we can get the name attribute of the, um, the event target object. So we can use that to determine which field we need to set. So here, let's just destructure what we need. So we need the name and we need the value of the event target object. And for set form value, what we're actually going to do, instead of passing in um, the new value as an object, we're going to pass in a method. You can see the IntelliSense on my ID is showing the method we can pass in. We can pass in something with um, a method with the, the um, one argument in the, um, in the method, which is the previous state. going to do because set state normally you can just set state on a single single um, single item but uh, use state is slightly different in that it doesn't merge objects um, automatically so you have to do the merge yourself so what we do is we get the previous state and destructure that sorry not destructure using the uh, object spread syntax and then we're gonna take the name update the new value and what we're gonna do here is pass in this generic handle change into each of the inputs So now if we type something here, we can see it's got the same effect. What we can do is just add another input just to test it out. we can do is a little bit of a tidy up um, let's make this uh, display of the form items dynamic so to do that I'm just going to pull off map from Lodash and I'm just going to do a map of the state the form object
So one of the things you've noticed is that uh, you might have noticed is that the um, the name, the weight, and height starts off with lowercase capital, lowercase letter. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to capitalize that just to for presentation purposes. So Lodash has a, a method called start case, which is quite helpful in this situation. And we'll just call it here on the key of the object. And there we have it. Alright guys, thank you for watching. So in future videos, we're going to build on this form and we're going to add other features to it. So stay tuned.